can either, if you have weights, you can use your weights for the squats. If you don't, just do regular squats. If you want to add an intensity, you can also do jump squats. Get ready, go. So here's squats, down and up. Press through the heels, keeping the core tight. Press, inhale and exhale. Good. You could do this outside in your backyard. Good. Breathe. You could do it inside your house. Stop. Good. Now here's where we're going to mix it up. We're going to now go to reverse lunges, or you can also do lunge jumps. Either way. And go. So I'm going to show you. <laughs> we're sore from our past couple days workouts. Breathe. Good. So I'm just showing you, if you have the hand weights, just keep them right there by your side. Reverse lunges, step all the way back, stop. Good, we're going back to squats. How are you guys doing? Jump on in. Get ready. Round three, go. Breathe. I'm also going to turn sideways. So you see, butt goes back. Knees do not go past your toe. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Tummy is tight. Stop. Good. Reverse lunges again. Doing good, everyone. Your heart rate should already be up there. Round four. Get ready. Go. Keep the chest up. Keep your shoulders back. Breathe. Nice. Tummy tight. Press through your heel on the way up. Stop. Four down, four to go. Back to squats. Get ready. 10 seconds goes by fast. And go. You can even add a hop. And if you do, land lightly. Good. Breathe. Almost there. Stop. Woo! Is your heart rate up? Heart rate's up. <laughs> Reverse lunges. Back to right. And go. Yes. Or you could do what Scott is doing. Popping it up. <laughs> what? It's nothing. It's a little hop. If you're doing it with squats, you have to make sure, I mean with weights, make sure you land softly. Woo! Two more to go. All right. Tips our audience right now. Back to squats. Breathe. Really squeeze your glutes on the way up. Inhale, exhale, press through your heels. Last five seconds, let's add a jump. Three. Woo! Good. One more set of reverse lunges. Then you get a little breather. Here we go. Good. Core is tight. Either way, with the jump or just step back. Tummy tight. Breathe. Almost there. And stop. Woo! All right, now you get to shake your booty a little bit. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, get ready for set two. Let me see who's here. Yay! All right, hi everyone. Okay, our next movement. Scott will be doing push-ups. I will be doing military press with the weights. So either one, or you could switch it. One set of push-ups, one set of presses. Today we just have one set of weights, so I'll be demonstrating that. He'll be demonstrating push-ups. Push-ups can also be done on your knees. Get ready. You want the towel? No. We have four seconds. Tummy is tight. Get ready. Go. Now, when you're doing push-ups, keep that body flat. Keep that booty down. 
after you're doing military presses. Halfway down, all the way up. Core is engaged, knees are slightly bent. Inhale on your way down, breathe out on your way up. Stop, good. Come completely off your hands so you get a good little rest. Get ready, three seconds already. Set number two. Uh, and quick. go. Breathe. It's a beautiful day out here. I hope you guys are getting out and doing some movement, at least walking. Do this workout and then go take another walk. You can even repeat this video three to four times. Breathe. Yes. Woo! Two down. Two down. Six more to go. I feel the pump. <laughs> Get ready. Set number three. Press. On those push-ups, you can also change your hands. So if you want a wide push-up or a tricep push-up, you could switch it up as well. You can also be on your knees, and those of you that do butoga, feel free to use your block in between your thighs. Woo! Good! That was three. Three. I think. Yes. All right, get ready. Here's number four. Core tight. We're halfway. Breathe. Now when you're doing presses, no rocking your back. None of this. Keep the body straight. Core is embraced tight. Woo! Four down. Four to go. Push-ups really start to burn after the fourth set. Get ready. Number five. Good job, Scott. Breathe, breathe. Tummy tight, and if the shoulders get to be too much, you can always do one arm at a time as well. Breathe. Or you can always do it without the weights. You got this, keep it going. Stop. Nice, was that five or six? Five. Huh? Five. Five, okay. I wish it was six. <laughs> Number six. Those of you that know me know I lose count a little bit, you know, not all the time. Tummy tight, showing you from the side. Breathe, core tight. Woo -hoo. All right, we have two more sets. And you wanna try to get down as low as you can on your push-ups. He also has an injured shoulder and he's going down as far as he can. So even if you have injuries, only go where you can. Listen to your body. Your shoulders should be burning by now too. And on those push-ups, breathe. Feel free to go down onto your knees. Woo! Nice, we have one more round. One more round. I'm gonna come check on you guys. Last one. Go, we got this. Three. Booty down. Yes, so you could always go down to your knees on the push ups. Core tight, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Two seconds. Woo! Nice job. Yeah. I know those push ups burn. I'm going to check to see how we're doing here with everybody. How are we doing, everyone? Are you good? Hi, everyone. Woo, how you doing? Checking it out. All right, very good. Okay, get ready. We're going to our third and final movement. And you're gonna be in plank position. So, the grass is a little wet, so you may see us slip and slide here but you could do this anywhere. I'm gonna show you sideways first and then we'll go forward. Our first set, you'll be in plank. I'm not gonna hit you. You can do plank jack, out and in. Okay, that's the first set. Our second set, we're gonna go into mountain climber. Knees in and out of the chest. Take it at your own pace. What I don't want is your butt up. Keep the butt down. And if the plank jacks get to be a little too much, you can also modify doing plank taps. Also, if you need to go down onto the forearm, you 
you can do them that way as well. Okay? Here we go, everyone. Eight rounds. Whew, this is going to burn because if you did shoulders or chest, the arms are already burning. So really press away. Go. Use your core. you guys that I felt that one already. All right, get ready for mountain climbers. Any speed, go. And make sure, I'm gonna talk as I'm doing, make sure you go forward on your plank. So don't push back. Make sure that your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. your butt pop up. You have five seconds. people. I hope you are too. Get ready. Plank jacks. Remember you can always go down to your forearms as well. Tap. Tiffany just resting. Hard, Tiff. Mountain climbers. So now you're feeling the pace. So if you need to slow it up, slow it up because you want to last 20 seconds. You have eight seconds left. Core tight. Breathe. Ooh <sighs> and he gets up and down each time I stay down. <laughs> One more round of each. Plank jacks. Whew, here we go. Or tap. Or on your forearms. Keep it going. Breathe. Climbers, everyone. You're almost done. Get ready. Go. Remember, take it at your own pace. My hip needs to pop. Seven seconds. You could do this. Push or go down to your elbows. Woo! Big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Whew. So each one of those was probably about a little over four minutes. So right there, four times three. You already have a good close to a 15 minute workout. 